what is going on? It's Carol Ann Beltran and in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you something very interesting that I did for six weeks. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about the stomach vacuum and how it actually shrinks your waist in just a few weeks and so I wanted to try it out myself not because I wanted to have a tinier waist but just because I got curious about it and really interested. Let me share something very shortly with you guys. I've been working out for a couple of years now. It's always been something I enjoy doing. And as far as I can remember, I've always had quite a tiny waist. And if I remember it correctly, I've always pulled my stomach in in just like random times throughout the day whenever I would feel like doing it. And so when I saw these videos and the scientific explanation behind it, I kind of wondered if maybe that contributed to my having a tiny waist. Though, don't get me wrong, the stomach vacuum is different. It's way more intense and way more challenging. And so, yeah, I wanted to try it out myself, research about it and how it's properly done. So the stomach vacuum was executed by bodybuilders in the past like Arnold Schwarzenegger to make their waists look tinier. So the stomach vacuum is an isometric contraction of the transversus abdominis or the TVA wherein you tense the muscle without moving it. A formal definition published in a 2018 paper the abdominal vacuum technique for bodybuilding says it is a breath holding maneuver used in bodybuilding to contrast a noticeable reduction of the waistline to an increase in thoracic circumference. So our abdominal region is composed of internal and external muscles and so when we do our crunches and other ab exercises, we're actually working the external muscles, the rectus abdominis and the external oblique. So this is the visible six pack that we see. However, the internal muscles, the transversus abdominis or the TVA, since it is rarely targeted, it is often weaker. But building strength in it not only helps tighten and shrink your midsection, but also relieves you from back pain and adds explosive power to your training. So you can do this while kneeling, standing, sitting, or even lying down. And so I started on May 18th, ended on June 30th, so it was a total of six weeks. But it was only on June 1st that I decided I was going to film it. And so the clips start from that day. And since I wasn't able to film my first two weeks, I wasn't able to film my initial measurements. However, I did write it down. So on my first day, my waist measured 23 and 5 8 inches. And so I did this every single morning upon waking up fasted. So it's better if you do it fasted because it's a lot easier to suck your stomach in. So I did this for three sets, 30 seconds each every day. So basically what you do is you inhale, you expand your rib cage, and then you exhale all the air out of your lungs. And then when all the air is out of your body, you kind of scoop your abs underneath your bottom ribs, if that makes sense. So the cue is that you pull your belly button to your spine. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm? shrunk to 23 and 1 8 inch on the second week may 31st it was at 23 inches so um, on the third week june 7th it was at 22 and 7 8 inches 
on the fourth week, June 14th, it was at 22 and 1 8 inch. On the fifth week, my waist measured 22 inches. And finally, on my sixth week, June 28th, my waist measured 21 and 7 8 inches, which was the same for June 30th as I also measured it. So within six weeks of doing the stomach vacuum, I had lost 1.75 inches off my waist, which is amazing because I mean considering that I already had quite a tiny waist to begin with But it's also important to note that whilst I was doing these vacuums I was also consistently working out working my abs and my body eating clean and healthy So that's very very important as well and it's definitely a very challenging and intense exercise, silly and scary as it may look. It does work and it did work for me. It does take a lot of effort and practice. So I'm not even in a very good form doing it myself, but I think I'm gonna keep doing it, see how it helps my body and hopefully improve at it. So that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this exercise. Do you think it's creepy or scary or do you think it would actually work? And if you um, would want to try it yourself, um, please let me know in the comment section below and let me know how it worked for you. Let me know your results. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. By the way, a shout out to Alvin M. Kangleon who commented on my previous vlog.